Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial you will learn how to carry out statistical analysis for strip plot or split block design using our program. Strip plot design is specifically suited for a two-factor experiment. In this design, the desired precision for measuring the interaction effect between the two factors is higher than that for measuring the main effect of either one of the two factors. This is accomplished with the use of three plot sizes. Vertical strip plot for the first factor also called the vertical factor. Horizontal strip plot for the second factor also called the horizontal factor. Intersection plot for the interaction between the two factors. The vertical strip and horizontal strip plot are always perpendicular to each other. However, there is no relationship between their sizes, unlike the case of main plot and subplot of the split plot design. In this case the interaction plot is of course the smallest. Thus in strip plot design, the degrees of precision associated with the main effects of both factors are sacrificed in order to improve the precision of the interaction effect. In the split plot design the levels of second factor or factor B are independently randomized within the subplots of each level of first factor or factor A. In the strip plot design the levels of one factor are assigned to strip plots in one direction and the levels of the second factor to the strips perpendicular to the first strip. A separate randomization is done for each block for each factor A and B. This design facilitates the physical operations and increases the precision for estimation of interaction effect. The example used here is comprised of three varieties and four different fertilizer levels. Let's start how to carry out analysis of strip plot design in our studio. Make sure you have already installed a Grickly package. You can install this package by giving this command in our console. Import the file containing data for analysis. Open library for the mentioned package. By using head function you can see the data frame for the first six rows. Use str or structure function that will tell the format for each column in the data frame. It gives information whether the variables are being read as character, number, integer, or factor. In this example the treatment factors are being read as character. You can change it to factor by using as dot factor function. Similarly repeat this for the second factor. By using again the structure function you will see the treatment variables have changed from character to factor. For analysis of variance of strip plot design assign model by using with function, type file name and use strip.plot command for strip plot analysis. In parenthesis type block, factor A, factor B and then response variable. Analysis of variance table indicates that the interaction term is significant at 5% probability level so the usual practice is not to discuss the individual effect when interaction is significant. To apply mean separation test I shall use LSD test in this example. However, I shall proceed for both individual treatment and interaction effect. For main factors R will use error mean square and error degree of freedom respective to factor A and B from analysis of variance table. Similarly, for interaction error C for degree of freedom and its respective error mean square will be used to compute the LSD value. For this objective you need to first assign GLA as model and GL.A combine with dollar sign to represent error degree of freedom for the first factor. Similarly, Assign GLB to represent error degree of freedom for the second factor. Then assign GLC to represent third error degree of freedom for interaction term. For error mean square assign EA as model and EA combine with dollar sign. This will give the value of error mean square for the first factor. Similarly, assign EB to represent error mean square for factor B. Then assign EC to represent the error mean square for interaction term. To apply LSD test for factor A, assign out 1 as the function of with while in parenthesis give file name and type LSD.test, response variable, then factor A, GLA and EA. To apply LSD test for factor B, change out 1 to out 2, factor A to factor B, GLA to GLB and EA to EB in the previous command. 
Similarly for interaction term, use the previous command and change out 2 to out 3, factor B to interaction term, GLB to GLC and EB to EC. To represent yield data in graphical form for both treatment factors and interaction term use following commands in our console. For factor A, type bar dot error function and in parenthesis write out 1 and means combine with dollar sign, use standard error for variation and give response variable limits. You can also add labels to X and Y axis by using XLab and YLab arguments. Similarly for factor B, in the previous command change out 1 to out 2. For adding labels use XLab and YLab arguments. For interaction term in previous bar dot error command change out 2 to out 3. For adding labels use XLab and YLab arguments. This interaction graph does not look decent. You can also plot bar graph for interaction term with categories. For this you need to get interaction means table. Watch the earlier video on split plot analysis to see how to construct interaction bar graph with categories. In the next tutorial, I shall show you how to plot bar graph with categories for interaction term representing standard error bars on the top of the bar graph. I hope this tutorial would be helpful for you. If you have any question feel free to ask. Hit a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos.